and now from this particular video we will start our coding section uh, this is the continuation video so you can see that this is our uh, uh, form and if you we'll click on the class declaration you will be able to see that uh, nothing will be there in this particular form in the coding section only the form attribute is there and everything is uh, empty over here and it is extending the form run class and the name of the class will be the same as the form name okay now for this form we have different types of um, methods that are available we can override so if you'll right click on the uh, method you can see there is a, a bunch of methods so we already discussed about the init method we can uh, override it so that at the time of initialization form initialization we can fire the init method so that's why we had to go to the i section that will be the init so here you can see that our init method over here so whenever we will click uh, that uh, this particular init method added in our particular class and now we can write our code over here now let me change or write the some write some code over here in the init method so let me copy paste it over here i have already copied so first we have to declare a file upload control and this is a variable name and after that this one is the name of the control that is present in your uh, form itself so we are initializing the value of that uh, with this file upload control if you want to see that one so if you go to this particular section you can see that file upload control is there so that is the um, in, uh, file control over here that we are initializing in the upload control and here we can see that you can see that upload control that notify upload completed please uh, plus equals to event handler this lot this dot upload control so this dot upload control is nothing but a method which will uh, show you after the um, upload completion it, this will notify and it will update the information uh, that your file uploaded successfully so that's why you had to create a upload completed method and we have to write our code uh, on this section now let me uh, write the code for the upload completed this one so you can see that there is a here is our upload completed method so this particular uploaded completed method this method is called when the file upload is completed and it retrieves the result of the upload using the file upload control dot get file upload result okay so using this method uh, it will retrieves the result of the file upload and uh, if the file upload was successful then it will return the true value and it sets the configuration file path to the uh, downloadable url and it will open using the file upload result dot open result so that's why uh, we had to use this particular file upload method and one more thing you had to remember whenever you will go to this particular ok button there is a two uh, two control button right one is the ok button and one is the uh, cancel button so here we can right click on the click event override the click event so here we have to click on the clicked if uh, clicked and the comment button and you can see that this code is actually added in our class now we want that whenever we we'll click uh, on that uh, form then we we'll link uh, another class with this particular uh, form class so that's why you had to create a new class so i have to right click over here and then add and then new ever class over here and i have to give the name of that particular class over here okay and then we can click ok button so here we can write our code which is related to the load creation uh, services and we can write our uh, excel file related information in this particular file in this uh, class file okay now how can we uh, link uh, this particular class uh, with this our form with our form itself in the init method so for that we have to instantiate the class itself and we want that uh, this particular class will have a method process and we want to call that as well so it will process all the uh, excel related um, functionality 
so that's why what we'll do we'll write some code over here and we'll call the process that we are going to create in our future okay so you can see that we have an answer e creation service um, class over there here and we have instantiated with the name of the service and with the new keyword we are actually instantiating now with this service we are calling the method that is present in the answer e load creation that we have not created yet but we will create and now we can send the configuration path whatever present in the configuration uh, path that we have setting in our upload completed so it will send the path uh, to this process method and now um, we can pass the value of the form control uh, that we have created okay so if we we'll go to this particular form you can see that these are the load id uh, number item number and the quantity we can send all this information uh, inside our ok method and we can pass this information to our process method so that we can send the information to this particular answer load creation service so you can see that load id is there item number is there quantity is there so we are passing all the information to the process now i hope this particular class uh, actually done but here we have to remember that whatever the variable we are using here we have to create the uh, create the variable name as well so that's why whatever i have just missed i have to um, create the variable for that so here you can see that we are using the open uh, file and we are also using the configuration file path but we have not initialized so that's why let me go a little bit above over here and let me paste over here two line so for that we have to use the file path this one is the data type and this one is the name or the variable that are we are using in our file um, upload completed and uh, using the system.ios team we are using the open file so that we can take the file uh, and open it uh, using the uh, open result method and now we'll move to our service class this one answer load creation service class and we'll write our code related code and i'll uh, discuss about it okay so let me click over the answer load creation and you can see that this is our class so we have already uh, written the code i'll just paste it and i'll explain the code but if i'll type each and everything over here it will be a time consuming process so that's why i'll just paste the code uh, that i have written um, earlier so that's why i have just pasted over there over here so whenever the uh, user will click on the ok button so the, it will go to this particular process method with the information that is the file path and all this information over here and it will directly hit this particular method so you have to uh, give the information or the parameter uh, that will hold the value for the file url load id and uh, item number and the quantity okay and we are using a container uh, so that we can uh, take the all the excel files uh, rows and column in this particular container and we have uh, you taken the i current line and uh, perch line number if it is not required uh, you can erase it because we are not using i hope you, we are not using this one so you can remove it or uh, you can keep it if it is not necessary it's better to remove that one also you can see that we have uh, created the buffer of the load information table like this one and we have initialized with a byte um, array and the stream okay and now you can see that in the stream we are using the file and uh, use file url and we are passing the file over here and in the container section we are uh, assigning the value with in the container and in this section we are uh, calling a method that is the read excel data and we are passing the over stream over here so now here the read excel method uh, read excel data so this one is nothing but a method which whatever is the present in this particular answer load service creation service and remember that we are working with the uh, xml uh, documentation format so that's why you have to add the packaging and the spreadsheet uh, library so that's why you have added these two particular line so that we can play with the excel file itself okay 
and now once our uh, once our uh, container will be created from the excel file itself then we can do our operations but uh, just go to this particular read excel data and you can uh, see that how you are actually creating our um, uh, container from excel file so we here we had to use the excel worksheet format and excel packaging and uh, with this try uh, we are trying to um, create our container and uh, you can see that we are preparing our worksheet over here with the package.get workbook and get worksheets and we, with the copy method so what it will do it will copy the in you, you know that in each and every excel file there is a sheet one spreadsheet so it can have a multiple spreadsheet so we are assuming that we have a spreadsheet sheet one name with the name one and we are changing it to the journal and we are uh, cop actually copying that whole spreadsheet uh, the sheet one in the worksheet itself and we are taking each and every cell within the gate cells and we are counting the row count and we are counting the cell count using the gate row method and or gate uh, column method with the gate dimension you can see over here so if you are not understanding this code you have to uh, be little bit careful and you have to read the worksheet related uh, functionality from the documentation of the Microsoft documentation so you can uh, you you can understand each and every code and you have to actually uh, read the code from the documentation if you are not understanding but remember that using this uh, get row method and go get column method we can um, uh, get our row count and the cell count okay or the column count now uh, you, we can see that we are starting at the row 2 to allow the header file in the header file so we are not storing our values uh, of the rows and columns in the uh, from the first row because the first one will be the uh, header one so that's why we are ignoring the first row and we are starting it from the second row and we are uh, um, we'll go up to the row count so whatever the row will be there we will um, uh, read each and everything and we are storing it uh, in this particular container and the, at the last uh, whatever we are doing we are returning the ret so ret is nothing but what is doing it is inserting the information in the container itself so it will be a two dimensional so uh, excel file is nothing but a two dimensional thing and it will be rows and columns so that's why we are using the high row count and in the second uh, for loop we are using the cell so it will go to one row by one one row and then it will move all the uh, information in the single row and it will move to each column and it will get its value and it will uh, try to insert its value in the container one by one so that's why you can see that any data is the cell get item and it's getting its item and any data and it is uh, inserting its value to any data and if there will be no value then it will uh, break from the loop itself and it will uh, increase if it and if the data will be there then it will be it will add its value with the uh, con row and it will actually if uh, else otherwise it will uh, concatenate with the null value okay and if the row con row will be there it will be increasing the i row count and it is actually uh, initializing the value with the con ins we know that con ins will insert the value and here the i is the uh, position and here is the or uh, con row and here is the con row is there okay so if you uh, take the time and if you read the code it will it is very much easy you can um, you can do it by yourself very much easily and then after that what it will do it will actually uh, return its value uh, to the caller function so it will go to this particular um, line and it will return the container and with this container what we are doing we are actually uh, looping uh, to the container with the con length function whatever the length will be there uh, it will be a two-dimensional container 
and we can actually load the value in the first column it will be having the load id and we are actually initializing with the load id and if there will be a load id uh, if there will be no and we are also getting the uh, column number uh, sorry item number with the con pick using the con pick you don't if you have not seen our container video you can see that uh, otherwise it will be difficult to understand the uh, container functionality so using the con pick we can pick the item from the container and we have to specify the positions as well and if there will be a load id uh, it, which is not equal to null and item it i not equal to null then we are initializing value in the table itself so from this particular line easily you can see that we are clearing the buffer if it is having anything then we are uh, initializing the value of the load id item id and the quantity so you can also uh, initialize the value over here with the config function with the config function uh, we can pick the item 3 uh, that means in the column 3 you can also pass over here and you can initialize like this one but you can also do this uh, like this one so that your line number will be decreased uh, in actual code and after the initialization we have to insert in the table so that's why we have called the insert method and at the end it will show you uh, that um, this particular load ic created load record created okay so i hope now the code is actually um, you have understood maybe i have done some i have not done some any mistake uh, while explaining the code and so to understand the code you have to read the documentation otherwise your knowledge will be a little bit in the in lack so that's why always try to read the whatever the code you are not understanding you just uh, copy that code you can search in the google or you can go to the documentation of the microsoft and you can read the information about all this code okay but you had to take the time and you had to create the patience to understand this code so now uh, each and everything is ready now what we can do we can execute our code and uh, we can see the result so before that whatever the uh, the packages here you are using you have to remember that you had to update the model parameter if you are uh, getting some issue over there because at least you had to um, you for that particular for this particular project you need to have you know, the application suit in the um, model parameter so you can update the model parameter and you can select your model over here so i am working in the fleet management right now so that's why we are using the fleet management and here from here you can select the uh, application suit if you are getting any issue so whatever the model is actually required for this project project so you had to select that and you had to click uh, so that you are not getting any kind of issue okay so now let me click over next so now each and everything is ready in the next video i'll compile and build the code and i'll show you the result so you already know that what will be the expected result from our beginning of this uh, dialog form creation so we have already shown the result still we'll execute this code and i'll show you the result again okay so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye